for Europe is insane, right? But a lot of that's because we've got a lot of top players from Japan coming over and some top players from the United States and Australia even. So a lot of people have decided to come out and travel. And Mexico too, of course. And, and Canada. That's, oh. yeah. So a lot of yeah. really great regions in, uh, in top eight. All of the ones I just mentioned are all in top eight, so. Okay, so we're seeing riddles going, Kazi. Uh, Chucky, talk to me about this one, man. What are we seeing? Yeah, we talked to it a little bit earlier, but especially on PS2, it's a wide stage. You've got a lot of areas that are kind of flat and the platform's very small, so it's easier to do the FURB stack. But the main thing is that you're just looking to catch a lot of those aerials with Electric Wing Godfist because sure. Palutena is a character who has to jump a lot. But as long as you mix up your timings and you can see Chag already kind of camping these platforms a little bit and just refusing to engage uh, because that's just going to make things a little bit more difficult for Cassia. His double jump is not very good or his oh. regular jump, sorry, is not very good. He kind of oh, has to double jump to get things going. Here, we might be seeing something here, no, but the string just dropping there. And Tag lives to see another day with the up smash and riddles. Explosive coming right out of the gates, finding any opportunity off the electric wing Godfist to take out Tag Stop. I'm so sorry I had to interrupt you, but that was insane. <laughs> no, you had to, because when Kazuya gets in, he takes the stock. And Riddles is a perfect example of that. He's optimized all of the combos and he knows exactly what to do and when. And here comes the first tech again. Oh, oh, not like this. Oh, oh my God. Three, one, stop, bro. The stops and disappear. Cosmigo just needs to hit you with a couple moves and it keeps disappearing. The offense coming up from Chag, a bit of a desperate right now from Chag. Needs to find something then there, there. Tries to go for the back end. Riddle's just saving a little bit of time now. No way, no way. Chag's still living. Riddles throwing literally everything away for that last stop, trying to go for a bit of the style points. Could that be a bit of his demise though? Chad trying to go for that down there and now Riddles has to find those confirms if he wants to end this quickly. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now, Chaki. Honestly, something like that can catch a lot of players off guard. It's really smart for Chad to just react to that, to know immediately what to do and take advantage. And now he's going to start chipping away because he does not want to deal with Rage Art. And Riddles is just throwing it out. He wants the game to be over quick. When it glows red, then you should also be seeing red too, because your stock could potentially be gone. Electric Wing Godfist setting up, reads the tech roll, and now the Rage on. Just going out, Chag in a bit of a hard position right now. Two stocks on Riddles' end. The down there though, interrupting that down tilt. Smart stuff on Riddles' end. Yeah, very smart stuff from Riddles. That's not going to secure it yet though. Great mix up for Riddles' Chag. The little right. DI lane switch there. Oh my god, and getting that up smash. Riddles wasting zero time. Game one is Riddles's, and oh my god, this character is ridiculous. I know Chad is super yep. mad excited just looking at it as well, man. Oh my god. Chad didn't get hit for the first like 30 or 40 seconds. And then the second he got hit, he lost the lead. And because of that, he had to approach Kazia. And because of that, he lost. My goodness, bro. That's Let that game just... outlay. Oh, yeah, go. man. <laughs> that character is so... <laughs> this character is incredibly dumb to watch, man. I'm not even going to show you It's so stupid. Riddles getting away with that final up smash. And now we're moving on to game two of the set. Taking it back to PS2 now. Let's see what happens, man. Riddles must be having that crazy, crazy momentum, that high APM going right back into this second game, Jackie. Yeah, all of that invincibility from Kazia can contest with the intangibility of Palatena as Chad gets in looking for a little bit more damage this time so that he can keep his lead for a little while longer, but he gets hit with an electric wind guard fist and immediately everything is leveled. No, for sure, for sure. Getting that. Oh, crash. did you see the moonwalk back there? Yes, sir. <laughs> the little crouch dash is back. He just kind of slided. I love, I love the way Tekken movement looks. Tekken movement looks so sick. It's, it's so sick. Chag trying to find these things now. Just, you know, those nares, those up hairs, getting a little bit more of that damage. Doesn't want to rush in too much right now. Beautiful back and nice patience there. And Chag up a stop, playing a lot more patient around Riddles' options. Yeah, great catch on that air dodge in. Knowing that Riddles has kind of waited in the last game and that he was going to get a little bit more antsy eventually. You don't have a lot of recovery mix-ups as Kazuya, so you're going to start relying on 
risky moves eventually. Ooh, Chag going really all down. the way out. And tries to go for that down air. Dangerous stuff coming out from Chag. And now Riddle seems to have a little bit of that electric wind. Godfist come out in the end to be up B. And now they are two to two. But don't forget, Kazuya Mishima can deal a lot of damage. There we go. There's a the start of something potentially quite destructive here on Riddle's this end. No, the up B doesn't kill. Still living. Tries, what the hell? Opening the gates to hell with that down B. My god. And Riddle's. Yeah, you you think after the upbeat, everything's over? Oh, what am I gonna get by, get hit by a, a Kazuya aerial? No, you get hit by that downbeat and take even more damage, another 20% and you're off stage and Riddles' advantage sure. state has been so strong, but Chag has hit the reversal and he's looking for the kill. He's Chag gotta dude. keep him in the corner so he... He is. I was gonna say, he's gotta keep him in the corner so he doesn't have to deal with Rage Art and he did, he managed to do exactly that. Riddles sitting at 150. Sure, get down so into the forward air and now Chag up a stock. It seems like Chag playing a little bit more patient, a little bit more, you know, a round of, uh, you know, a round of liquid, uh, sorry, a round of, <laughs> I was talking like, a round of Riddles is uh, often doing, uh, doing Chag a lot of favors right now. Uh, now Riddles trying to find, you know, those confirmed, you can see he's trying to be a little bit more desperate now, going for those upbeats, missing those, whipping those a lot of the time, and now Chag has to try and capitalize off of it the forward smash so chag still living good di the laser coming out did it get reflected it did get reflected palatine is reflector being useful yo Let's uh, chag using every single move in his kit at his disposal to dismantle riddles right now he's sitting at 84 but he does have a rage art to play with and he just hit an electric wing god fist oh, king man. chag a solid 55 i mean they're uh, they're basically both at kill because they both, they, yeah, they both kind of are at this point. And I mean, you know, if Kazi is able to get that grab, it could be dangerous. Tries to go for it, but Chag is escaping it. But it doesn't matter, you're getting grabbed anyway. And 118%, you are dead, sir, Chag. Unfortunately, what did game, I just I say? Going up another. Wins. Yeah, you were right. So, sorry. What so did I just right. say? You were so right. <laughs> oh, I. Riddles, again, just pulling it back from the depths then. I thought that Chag would be able to hold that lead. Uh, he was really making the most of it, but the Rage Art came in clutch, and Chag just unable to keep Riddles in the corner the way he did on that second stop. Sure. And now here we go now, game three of the set. Riddles in a very comfortable 2-0, and as we did see before, you know, Chag was able to sort of pick apart Riddles is playing a little bit more now, but the question is, is can Chag keep that momentum up going forward and maybe get a game off? We'll see if Riddles doesn't push that advantage state like the way he's been pushing it this, these last couple games. Yeah, he has to keep hitting those confirms over and over again. Of course, we went straight back to PS2. That SD could be pivotable, or he could hit an electric wing god fist in 10 seconds and it might not matter. Sure, sure. Oh, it looks like it's gonna matter a lot because Kazuya is out of Kazuya Chag is out of control right now, hitting you look, that you down air on the Kazuya side B. No way. No, if you blink, you miss it because look, three stocks to one already. Chag on another level right now. Chag is the one pushing the pace right now. Tries to get the up smash, but beautiful shield timing there by Chag, just defending himself a little bit more. Gets the grab, waits for the back hit. Good patience from Chag once again, picking apart Riddles here. And the SD, unfortunately, the side B not reaching the side of the stage. Chag getting the game and a three stock. Yeah. A three stock, admittedly, with two SDs. But I think that last one at the end is Riddles being very scared of those, those back airs that Chag's throwing out back that pressure that he has, the presence that he's he's taking up. So he's trying to snap to the ledge as low as possible and he, he misses it. So Chag's still playing an important role in that. I don't even know what happened in that <laughs> It's game. very hard to follow. I can't even tell you what happened in that game, bro. I can, I can tell you what's going on on screen, but I can't tell you what's going on in the players' minds right now, man. Riddles must be feeling like, I don't know, the <laughs> mentality is still strong in Chag. You can see him taking a bit of a deeper, uh, deep breath there. Deep breath right there. Uh, just trying to keep himself composed as we get started now into game four and riddle yeah. oh wait riddle went to terry and always already starting off a lot more comfortably than he did in the previous game 
Yeah, no, switching straight to Terry, obviously getting in that burning knuckle, still sitting at 0% as yet to be touched as the grab. Good read from Riddles, has to try and take Palu off stage now. Tries to get, tries to go for something ugly, but the back end will do it, and Riddles sitting in a very, very comfortable position there, a nice zero to death there from Riddles. Yeah, really nice slingshot. That's going to help uh, Shoto players a lot. Uh, and Terry and uh, Kazuya mains, of course. Because having access to back air on the regular is just so good for them. And obviously, we've seen the switch to Terry. It means that he can't get platform camped. It means that not having the lead isn't as big of a deal because he's got more approach options. He's got a lot of burst options at mid-range as well. And uh, if he hits an... If he actually challenges Chag in mid-air, he gets a lot more out of it. Sure, for sure. Nice counter there from Chag, 102 now, that Gomir is online, and we all know that Terry hits like an angry truck, Buster Wolf coming out, and already 92%, you roll in, you get caught again, but the spot dodge, saving Chag, ever so slightly, I'm, I'm bro, another Buster Wolf, Chag is, okay. is okay, Chag is okay, Chag is okay, Chag is okay, guys, he's okay, oh my god, for dude. now, for now, there we go, the jab, jab, up B, the jab, jab, crack, shoot, beautiful stuff, using the invincible version as well, and riddles, man, putting Chag at his potential, well, I mean, his last stock now, 137, has go meter as well, so it just needs a couple good hits, tries to go for the Buster Wolf to get that early damage in, but Chag refusing to let that happen, teleports over, but riddles able to catch it with a nice up air down air conversion, and it's a back, a back throw for Chag to get this extra stock. Yeah. Chag on tournament stock right now, but he's not going down without a fight. Riddles still trying to rack on some extra damage. And it does feel like Chag did a really good job of learning that Kazia matchup, but Riddles just switching to Terry when he needs to. Yeah, and we've got to, we've and, got to uh, remember that is... Terry, is, Terry is that character, man, that Riddles plays a lot. There it is. He is. Yeah, the jab jab power dunk just going to take it. That will be the end of the set. And a really strong performance, especially an advantage from Riddles. Sure, for sure. Unfortunately for Chag, man, he is not okay after that one. Riddles managing to secure the victory in a very dominant game for uh it was it was tough, honestly. Um it could have gone either way, realistically. Um, but you know, when you switch to another character after being so, you know, so wrapped up in playing a character like Kazuya. You know, it, it's it's tough to get around it, man. I mean, Chag tried his best, but unfortunately, he's being sent home of, out of this bracket as ter uh, Terry, as Riddles moves on forward uh, through top eight on loser's side. So, yeah, we've had a... Uh, <laughs> I mean, we've commentated about three sets and... No, two sets. And, I mean, it feels like it's been three. Two sets, and they've both been very explosive, Jackie. Extremely explosive. Yeah, really explosive.